when we did the update early this year, the estimates were memory chips were going to reach 185 billion in end market sales in 2025. Those estimates have been pushed, at least at the high end, closer towards 200 billion. HBM3 is sold out. It looks like all the HBM providers are going to be sold out of HBM4 as well. SK Hynix, Micron, Samsung, Yangtze, Kioxia, and SanDisk. We thought we'd illustrate a sample supply chain for you. There's that deal that we've been talking about where Kioxia is selling NAND flash memory directly to Meta in tandem with peer storage licensing software and other technology to Meta for some upcoming data center projects that will begin delivering revenue for peer storage in particular next year in calendar year 2026. There's actually a shortage of hard disk drives and prices are rising because of this. That was great news for Seagate. It seems like NAND flash is maybe getting ready to have its moment. It's been kind of very, very slowly, gradually eating into HDD market share for many years. This alone is not a reason to go buy SanDisk stock right now, though. As cool as this looks and sounds. SanDisk is just starting to return to growth. They're flipping from a free cash flow loss to free cash flow positive. That could be a big catalyst for the stock as well. SanDisk, Casey says it's cool again. 